600 boy LA man, LA Capone man, get it to him man. Hey. OC2 boys man. Rockin' number nine man, number nine, shoot him, you hear me? Black TV bro. OT up Nunu man, you know how we rockin' man. On Zach TV, this is the first time ever that we have some of the biggest producers in the city of Chicago that came out of the city of Chicago together on one stage. From right to left, could you guys please state your name and some of the artists that you network? We'll start with you, young fella. Uh, um, my name is C-Sig. Uh, I don't even know where to start. Nigga, why aren't you there, everybody? My friend's yeah, one of the guys that he's said. Yeah, well, I know, all over, all over. Y'all niggas, niggas know where my first major place. placement was with, with Nas. That's a First artist I work with. Nas? Yeah. It's after winning this B battle competition, um, when I was 17. And that was like really the start of my career. And then I, from there I just worked on my craft and started working with like a lot of Chicago like local artists. Is it, um, name, name a few. Like Louis, um, definitely Louis. Then yeah, to, to her and Bibby, to Dirk, yeah. to um, Fab. You work with Fabulous? Yeah, well, that's Fab. That's Fab. Logic. Work with Logic. Who else? Name one of the biggest tracks, I should say, of the biggest artists that, you know what I'm saying, that you did a beat for, that you'll never forget, that put you, that got your name out there. Probably for me, for me. That's what it is. My latest, I guess, my latest joint with me was Pray For Me. Had a lot of views. But you know what? Logic, really, that 5 a.m. joint. That has like over 20 million views. Wow. Yeah, I think that gotta be like my biggest. So this is the le legendary C6. Then we have right in the middle, we have DJ L. All that Metro boom, guy. <laughs> Metro on the street, no. <laughs> no, I'm DJ L. My resume speak for itself. If you like anything east side, turned up, you already know what I did. Motherfucking her, baby, tank in a three week period. I ain't never worked with Dree, that's another thing too, but that's like my sister. Like I really got a lot of love for Dree, and we will be working soon, but it's always like we just so close as bro and sis. Like, before we could start working on the track, we would end up playing fucking, fucking game and kicking it or something. Uh, shit. Who else? Really, shit. Louie. Yeah, that Louie shit. We did a lot with him. Uh, everybody did something with him. Louis work with Eric, for shout to Louis. Uh, I started Louis career, man. You know that. Me and Low Key started. Yeah, career. yeah, that ain't kind of straight up. Who, who's that right there? Who's that? That's that's 808 Chase right there. Why? Me? Oh man, I'm man. just a regular guy, man. I'm just you know one of the legends of the city, man. You know what I'm saying? He say, I'm just he just with the, you know. With uh, uh, I, I've been around the Goon Squad era. You know what I'm saying? When niggas was really when you couldn't come outside with these on, oh, all these jewels on, you snatching that shit. What up, Shay? All that shit, you know, my brother finna come home in a couple months, man. Johnson on his way. You know what I'm saying? I got all tabs for all the producers that want to get in on that shit. Just text me the beats. I'm sending that shit straight to his phone. You know? Me and then we work. Man, that's what's up, man. So we got Chase Davis, DJ L, and the infamous C6. Uh, the infamous. Yeah, this nigga right there. No, he the one. Uh, like, he putting on for the city right now for the producers. We just missed the shot. Yeah, we missed a chop right now. His ass somewhere eating a burger. Damn! Shout out to Young Chop. Shout out to Young Chop. Fat gang, gang shit. Fat gang. <laughs> so, man, you know, on, on, on the internet, you wouldn't think with so much violence going on in the city of Chicago that you guys would be this close knit, that you guys would be working. The beats ain't killing the motherfuckers. Beats ain't killing us, the niggas is getting on the beats. niggas is getting on the beats. Like, you niggas is fucking stupid. Like, if the producers could get along like this, but really, the producers, let me just break it down. By, yeah. First of all, let me just break this down, this whole couch down. This couch is an east side couch. First of all, this is the whole, this nigga, the east side, Chicago the nigga, this is the east side sound, nigga. The east side producers created the sound for the city. I don't give a fuck who ain't gonna like what I'm saying yeah. or whatever. Fuck it, if you don't like what I'm saying. Shout out to Lil' Photo, I love this shit. Yeah, they, 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 they rockin' for 290. 290 going crazy right now. Now, West really needed that boost right there. That was a crazy Yeah, but. But, but we the inside, bro. We the sound, bro. And I'm just standing on it, bro. Man, we got different sounds, yeah. though. Definitely got different sounds, bro. Yeah, Bob. You know that, that. 
I mean, and then you gotta look at like Chance, but Chance ain't really have a producer per se. Have any of you guys worked? Have any of you three worked with Look Forward, Chance the Rapper? Yeah. Chance, I'm gonna be honest. Chance, cool. I got love for Chance, but the reality is, bro, I'm just gonna be hunted with y'all niggas, bro. Chance the Rapper is like at a level where he probably just feel like it's other guys to work with. Like every time we see him, it's all love. But the reality is, G is doing something on a level. Like he's our modern day Kanye West. To be. Okay. So I I don't got no problem with it. And Lil Fo to be him and Kid One, a shot to Kid One. They had a sound. We was early on Lil Fo. We was in one of the first Lil Fo sessions. You know what I'm saying? Like we was early on that. I knew that shit was gonna change hip hop. You know, and niggas always want to talk about Lil Fo this and Lil Fo that. Even close friends are out. But the reality is, if you look on the Spotify chart, she the got top the top me. three songs in the uniquely Chicago category. Ooh. And this is Lil Fo, and this is a streaming game. If the nigga got the top three songs in the streaming chart from Spotify, the, the biggest streaming network, all the streaming network, and that show that, you know, yeah, bro sound is real. So shout out to Lil Fo, man. Yeah, shout out he, to Lil Fo. All you niggas wearing Robin jeans, Lil Fo got the endorsement got for Robin jeans. You got an endorsement? Look, yeah. yeah, he's the face of Robin jeans. Yeah, you bro. niggas spending four, five hundred dollars for that shit. The only, other nigga, on the only other niggas I seen get approached by Robin was her and I believe Lou. But Lil Fo is the face, you know what I'm saying? So man, shout out to him, man. Man, that's what's up. Do you guys feel that the drill era is almost over or what? I mean, you know the drill era ain't gonna never be over. You know why it's gonna never be over? From Chicago gangster. It's just now it's just when for us to sit here and talk about it being dead and being over. It's meaning that it's just super saturated. That means it's not, it's just here. Yeah. It's, now you have a set of artists that's all opening artists is coming out and they come in straight drill and that's all that they want to do and that's all they want to hear. So me personally, I don't think drill's going to die long as niggas killing each other because they dumbass going to get on the song and rap about it. Mm. Drill is the death of blacks. Drill is curse music. That, that's, a, that's music to let us know that our people fucking curse. <laughs> like, for real. Yeah. For real. For real. That, 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 I mean, I mean, simple and plain like this, bro. That shit is curse me. Who really wants to sit around and listen to how many heads you gonna blow off? I don't want to hear that. Yeah. I really came from an era where niggas wanted to get money. See, hip hop changed from don't do drugs to I'm selling drugs to I'm, I'm killing you. I'm killing you off drugs. Yeah. I mean, I'm, damn. I'm, damn. I'm that's, off, that's you I'm hit off it. the drugs and I'm killing you. But really, it's been going on because I gotta go back. I gotta go. See, I gotta go back, big bro. I gotta go back because niggas was still hitting niggas off Scarface, off NWA, the the, the, the old yeah. heads that put the young niggas on. Them niggas was yeah. hitting motherfuckers off all this old shit. So this gangster shit ain't gonna never die. Long as niggas is beefing with each other and niggas is being niggas, gangster music is gonna always be in drill and just a Chicago's gangster music. Like LA got their own gangster music, nigga. You go to LA, nigga, it still sound like '93 in certain hoods, nigga. They still rocking that shit, nigga. Send wave synthesizers, nigga. G funk, and they talking that gangster LA shit, G. Just like Chicago yeah. ain't gonna never stop. Long as niggas got beef with these niggas on these blocks and these opposite hoods, motherfucker gonna blow your brains out, gonna rap about it. Mm. Motherfucker just wanna go blow your brains out just so they can rap about the shit. What 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 changed the face of Chicago once artists like Baby Dirt, Her, Sosa started getting sassed, Dries started getting record deal. They brought money to this motherfucker. They brought a little paper here. Because it was a point in time. There wasn't no money coming here, boy, before Bang and shit, all that shit came out, man. Niggas was rapping their hard. L.E.P. I mean, all the money. L.E.P. was spending bread on all. I'm finna tell it all. They was spilling bread on all that shit. Yeah. I mean, Period. shout out to E, man. Shout I never, out to Big Bro E. I, I never seen a, per, a person invest more money believing in somebody than E, man. Like, real shit. And a lot of niggas don't give, you know, Big Homie the credit, man, for Spinzo and all these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, them dudes had real belief in them from that brother, man. So, so shout out to E, man. Period. Yeah, he, he, he brought the Chicago. Uh, he brought the ladies here. They wasn't coming here because they liked how niggas sounded. 
They yeah. was coming to him because Cause they knew it was some money in Yeah. He let a motherfucker my bad, big bro. He let a motherfucker know like, man, look. That is big Shout yeah. out to me. Shout out to me, Joe. Hold on, y'all. Can I leave the interview real quick? Uh, just tell me you know we the Man, we in the interview, man. Pull up, man. All that cap. <laughs> I'm capturing everybody. <laughs> Fuck all that. Okay, okay. Man, but yeah. no, I'm finna get back to this real. Can I get back to this big bro? Because mm -hmm. these is history facts that niggas need to know. This is some shit. Niggas this some shit. Niggas these overlooked, is, bro. This shit is the overlooked. Producers, we work with everybody. We know, bro. But we know all of everything, bro. Look. E was spinning that bag on LEP and putting that and shit brought together. The and brought the leg here, bro. bro. And niggas don't give that nigga credit, G. No, niggas ain't giving E no credit. And the reality is, if you look at like Fake Show Drive and all of them, a lot of them, shout out to Drew, but a lot of them niggas got their relationships from bro. The reality, when he was having Sway and all them niggas coming here, they was getting their relationships from LEP, bro. That's the first time I met Coach K and all these niggas, niggas that all of them is through E, bro. So you gotta understand if you really wanna, like you said, look at the, the, the shit really did start with that, bro, because nobody had the money. And another nigga you gotta say too, Johnny. Johnny Shine, they yeah, Johnny Shine, 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 I got paid. I got paid and shit. No mother paid. So shit. You got to show, because them the niggas that put their money into these niggas' careers, bro. And niggas, some niggas made it, some niggas didn't. You know, the reality is, but I put it like this. I say about Spizzo situation. That wife or son was great, but, you know, like a situation like with E, you got to understand, when you got Drake singing a, a, a song, that I watched them create with Chop and all, you know, and, and turn that shit grew so big to when Drake singing at his concert, you know what I'm saying? That's niggas believing in you, bro. That's niggas believing in That's another, that's another work, thing bro. that's Chicago. We gonna speak on a lot of shit about Chicago. I'm gonna speak on the poison. I'm gonna speak, I'm gonna speak on the poison in what you, what you mean poison? When I say poison, because you said, what you just said about them believing, Believing in these niggas, the bro. Niggas out of town believe in us more than we believe in our damn self. That's true. I hear that a lot, man. You got man, bro. Bro, dude. motherfuckers FaceTime my phone and tell me, bro, they just FaceTime and just let the thing play. They in Drake dressing room, bro. What is he listening to? He's listening to Mousetrap One. He lit that whole the whole album. Fool like fool love y'all shit with Mouse, bro. They sitting and they these artists is getting pumped off of our music, bro. I'm and, it's no game. Game. and it's no and it's no reason niggas in other markets get money like that too. You know what I'm saying? Like, sort of. You're right. We don't have the same resources. Why is like a nigga like Lucci and all these niggas getting more money than niggas that put their grind in like Louis? Niggas that put their grind in, bro, like that's better. No disrespect. I know niggas saying we hate, but the reality is, bro, if we support ourselves, bro, it could be better. It's not going to happen, though, because you niggas is grinding, bro. And that's why I'm getting out of music, because I already know it. <laughs> What do you mean hey, that brain? Hey, no, hold on, hold on. I'm finna tell the whole world right now. Right. Stop listening to L when he get the captain talking about he's dumb. I'm music. leaving, bro. Ah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, bro. He's still finna make beats, man. He's just talking shit, bro. Here we go. So, so, hey, and, and I gotta speak on this because L said a little bit earlier about, um, like the the bigger guys that's in the in the record business that they're um, yeah. sabotage, sabotaging the image of these Chicago artists such as Famous Dex. He spoke on Dex earlier. Oh yeah. Well, can you speak on that, please? He said it, motherfuckers off. I'm gonna just be honest, bro. Like, don't disrespect. Dax or his or the who, who, or the music yeah, industry. What I'm saying, well, this is what I feel. I'm saying, G, when you on your track saying I color my hair like a, like some crayons, G, sending the fucking youth off. They now see he looking at different. That's his yeah. image, though. But but, bro, you I, are. You gotta understand who you are to the people. Okay. It's niggas that look at Shorty and that's their role model. They don't have a Malcolm X, they don't have a Farrakhan that they look up to. They looking up to G. So you got niggas uh, 11, 12 years old,
color in their hair, doing all this shit that they're not going to be prepared to win in white society, bro. They center themselves up. Actually, they're going to win in white society because they doing what... I'm white saying, but what's the odds that all them niggas will be rappers, though? They doing what... What's the odds that them niggas will be successful like Dex, though? And, and they, hey, what was the odds of Dex being I'm Dex? saying, but that's mm. one person, though. We talking about, if I got 3,500 kids in a 30 mile square radius saying, you know what, man, I'm gonna die my shit. The, the odds and the ratio is most of the motherfuckers is not going to be rapping. But guess what? It's what gonna be, gonna guess, go, what, guess what? Happen? Gonna be, guess what's gonna happen? Guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna be a nigga that ain't gonna die and it's gonna get on because you know why? When everybody wants to kill everybody, but that's you had Dex coming out wanting to dance and want to die as hell, right. and now but, he on. But I'm mm. saying that's one person, though. That's one person. Oh, dude, this is the debate. It's not too deep. This we gotta understand our our roles oh, as God, what we bro. do as musicians. This shit been going on, man, bro. Shit like that. I was just saying. Who was telling these niggas out here red, blood red? What? Blood red. Think about this, bro. You fucking eleven. You go to CPS, bro. You not finna make it. Your rap is not good. You sound like Dex. You sound like her. But you got your dread. First of all, you got dreads. Who don't? Bro. How? You gotta have fun in this music shit. How? So everybody gonna have fun. Everybody gonna have yeah. fun and die. Bro, wait a second. Hold on. Right. Oh, oh, this that bullshit, bro. All right. First of all, bro. all right, y'all niggas can go die y'all shit if y'all want to. In twenty years, bro. you gonna sit and say them niggas sent me off. They sent me off because I did that. No, they not. Shit. No, they not. No, they not. Oh, no, they not. They're gonna, they gonna say that. You know what? Somebody that felt like you were Andre 3000 was doing that. No, it's different. Yeah. That was different. Now you got it. ain't different. Because your girl doing the same shit. But who the fuck was saying? So you think that niggas looking at Young Thug right now? Just like how no, I. Young Thug no, looking at Andre 3000. No. Just like no, a nigga looking at Young Thug bro, today. Bro, bro, bro. Bro. Andre 3000 bro. Was, bro. was more Neo Soul of anything. Because that's what the time is cross dressing, bro. The time Ain't no way Neo to soul. say it. He is cross dressing, bro. And any nigga Andre under that, you are compromising your morals. Andre 3000 was too. Uh, Prince did it. Andre 3000 did it. Jimmy Hendrix did it. I'm not saying it was it. cool, but that don't mean it's cool. It ain't cool, but it's they did cool. it. And then at that time, it, ain't it was a different era. Ain't nothing new. Ain't nothing new. Don't right, right. worry about that. Like when we got iPhones and people get easy so you finish up some other shit. shit. So this they got Instagram. They can easily be that's not true. By I mean, that's true. Yeah, that's true from a social somebody. media standpoint. The whole lifestyle is oh, right there. Bro. But y'all, so do y'all, so y'all don't believe that these niggas is influencing the black community negatively. Yeah, but of course. Okay, yeah, exactly. Wait, wait so prove my point. Wait a minute. But I'm, I'm saying, go, let's go a little bit. Okay, so here we are. Okay. It could be shit. Okay, Dex might not be saying shoot a gun, kill a motherfucker. And y'all applaud him for that because it's the worst. Yeah, but he's going to make you listen, feminize listen. yourself, though. Yeah, it's, but he's going to feminize you. Know? I understand. So it's like, nigga, okay, it's shit, but you, it's not, shit, but you, it's not, no, it's not a piece of shit, but you drink in Europe. Bro, it should just be something that's pleasure for the right. ear. That's <laughs> it, bro. <laughs> No, nah, bro, actually. Bro, it can't be I'm, like I'm that. Bro. Tell, no, I'm gonna tell you. Then, you can't say it's that with niggas. No, no, all arguments is like, right. All arguments <laughs> on this couch is right, you know what I'm gonna say? Because music is fun. You niggas dry your hands and you want to trust it again. You niggas yeah, yeah, gonna be eating out a piece of, a piece of fucking. Nah, bro. Because if, right, if we analyze everything like you're doing right now, it's like, let's say if we're looking at a movie, it could be like a fucking. Uh, uh, He's trying to get, he's trying to get, <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to say that. Look, don't let C6 see you off. This nigga rich already, dude. So don't let this nigga see you the fuck oh, off. If you dye your hair, you are not going to make it, bro. The reality is this. The, I barely all this hell saying is stop being a follower. See, the niggas, set up, man. Just man, look, so, so, don't so, do that. I seen the nigga, bro, I swear to God. I was in the barbershop, bro. Shout out to my boy, Ron on 75th, G. It's a nigga named Shadow. I'm going to put him out there, bro. A nigga named Cheddar. This nigga, no, he's from up here. This nigga dyed his beard Go. gold, bro. I seen that nigga. He dyed his beard gold. He looked he like, sad. if he you look, he ain't like <laughs> now, now, no disrespect to the man, but what I'm saying is this. I mean, the man got, and he didn't dye his whole shit. Half his shit is black. The other half is gold. What he's saying is that The nigga black. look like a white man. He like a white man, like a really confused person, bro. I asked him, I ain't gonna lie, I call her, I call my man, then I call everybody I fuck with. I say, bro, what you think? I asked him why he did it. He was like, man, they said the game, to get on, you gotta stand out. Mm. He didn't do it, cause he felt like, you know what, this is how I really feel, I look good. He compromised his fucking scruples 
to get noticed, which he did. He ain't lying. He so niggas is compromising no, shit. Don't say niggas is one person. Goddamn. No, 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 bro. It's, it's a, a group of them one motherfuckers. Yeah. It's, it's a group of niggas, bro. Niggas is man. Niggas is doing okay. Out of, out of, out of a million fucking rappers out here. Man, bro, I'm just We're saying. We're talking about the niggas that's trying to make that bro. Everybody we talking about. No, this one's. Really? Man, look, bro. I think it's deeper than rap. Y'all might it. not agree. No, it's I deeper believe than it. Rap. I know it's deeper than rap. I know it's deeper than rap, bro. I know it's deeper than what rap. about Sosa? When Sosa came, everybody wanted to be savage. Yes, that's or no. what I'm trying to tell yes, you. Yes, let's go. Let's get it. That's the point I was making earlier when oh, I said oh, yeah, everybody was savages. Oh, you yeah. had that one nigga in the room that wanted to dance. Uh -huh. And that was Dex. Right. He wanted to dance. And guess what? If you go to his earlier videos, he was also fake ass savage shit. <laughs> yeah. You know that shit now. Because that's what he came out. Like, I'm going to try out. There's too many niggas trying to drill. That was some following shit. These niggas ain't yeah. even no drillers, man. <laughs> These niggas ain't smoking shit. These niggas be rapping about this shit. That niggas ain't hey, bro, look. This shit, he just hit it on the head. When Keith went out, that came out, everybody tried that same. Bro, I had old ass niggas, bro, from the hood, bro. <laughs> bro, niggas sat there. You niggas and some niggas out there, too. Bro, Cause wait, hold on. Hold on, bro. No, bro. Because you niggas sacrifice your kids for this shit. What? <laughs> niggas be in my inbox. Man, you know man, I got my shorty, my man, look, bro. He wanna rap, and then you got him talking about killing shit. Shout out to my nigga Bugs, though. He got his son, Kamari World, bro. He ain't on that shit. Let your shorty rap about A, B, C's, and good grades. No, and doing I ain't shit even saying that. Your son should not be If he wanna rap, rap, if he wanna rap, because rap, rap is a new gift, G. No, That's like bro. saying, don't let your son pick up a basketball then, nigga. I would oh. never let my son pick up no motherfucking basketball on a professional series tip. It's good recreation, but the odds is this nigga's not going to be I'm good. not saying program your son, nigga. You're going to be the next. Okay, okay. I'm like, no, you got to. You got to. You got to. No. Listen, bro, I'm going to give y'all something. Y'all out there, y'all, if y'all disagree, just keep it 100. When niggas seen Derrick Rose coming up, bro, from an early age, you could see the greatest in dude. I'm talking about when he was at Beas Beasley, way before he got to see me off. For him to even get there, they had to see your dude was special. You know, what I said earlier is in hip hop, we have sacrificed skill for success. So now you can be Joe Schmo. Bro, this niggas talk about what the, uh, what's the nigga kid rap? Man, I fuck Birdman for the deal. Just to be on World Star, for niggas to tweak with you just to hear your music. I mean, like, Bro, you gotta understand, like, Soldier Boy and Lil B, these is the fathers of a thousand horrible rappers that actually made it. I mean, these niggas not even last in the summer. Look at Design, just got caught in New York with a gun. Right. Bobby Schmurt is seven years. We not waiting a second, they, bro. Hold on. I mean, they boys left and right. We not gonna wait they a minute. They boys are so expendable, so you can't do something that's gonna have you in this shit 20, 30 years. We're not gonna get to the propaganda, bro, the propaganda, bro, because at the end of the day, I'm gonna tell you, you are the song. If you're doing music, first of all, go independent. Fuck these labels, man. Because I'm going to tell you something. These labels is using your motherfucking ass. And these labels... It all, is, it all, and it all depends on people's situation. Too, that if too. I and the process in my bank, I'm definitely signing. I don't get no fuck. All right. <laughs> okay. Hey, we selling a song. Okay, no. Cool. It depends on, cool. depends on the person. How many people watching this is, that? Look, it's going. It depends. It depends on the person. Yeah. And the reason it why I say that is because guess what? Guess what? Be a platform for you. Uh, look, 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 look. So if you got, hold right. on, oh, no, look. If you got a person <laughs> with a right man, right, that's trying to get on, he trying to get on and do his music, and he gets his shot, and he goes and gets his deal. But he's a smart motherfucker. He takes his money. Invest in real estate and do a smart business move. He ain't struggling and worrying about what the label gonna do. I'm talking about you dumb motherfuckers that get signed and then you expect the label to do everything for you. Well, you didn't even read all your contract but and you don't know what the contract states. A lot of people don't know any better though. Mm. A lot of people don't know that's, any that's why I'm giving you this PSA. So like, do better. I think Burn niggas up. just need to stop rapping, bro. What? No, I need you niggas to keep rapping. If they stop rapping, you'll Honestly. be out of a job. Exactly. Huh? Why I'm not doing it. So you don't want to. What about you other two? He don't want to Why produce anymore. Why would I want to profit off the past?